Hi, this is a quick update on the Blurb DM project. The main thing is that now I have Blurb DM in black enclosure. It looks just like the white one but inverted and I think it will be nice for the dark environments. And also instead of uh, quarter inch big jacks I switched to 3.5 millimeter jacks which uh, won't need converters with Eurorack. And I think most of the people who use CV gates are going to use it with Eurorack anyway. So the black enclosure. Um, also, now I have this wonderfully looking colorful manual. I didn't expect that making it in color will, uh, will be such a big difference. Although it doesn't have a lot of colorful material. But anyway, it, now it looks like the professional synth manual and this glossy finish on the cover. The previous one was black and white and it had a kind of plastic string on the side. But in, it wasn't bad, but it looked more like an office document. And this one is really professionally looking. So, and I take care about this because I think since this device is kind of for computerless and dollar setups, uh, it's important to have a nice printed manual. And it's quite pricey, it's around 12 USD with this quality. So please uh, let me know in the comments if it's important for you or if it's not important. And then I'll probably just include it as an option and uh, give customers um, an option to save 12 USD if they don't need the printed manual. Another thing I wanted to mention, uh, a side note, is that a few months before I made this prototype of Blue Arp, uh, having different type of buttons. Uh, these are kind of uh, clicky and clickless buttons with longer travel, kind of push buttons versus tactile buttons I use here. So this one's more like the older PC keyboards, but smaller. And I thought this kind of more premium buttons and it will be much better. But actually it doesn't feel much better. It's a bit better. But uh, the problem with these buttons is that first uh, their supply is unreliable. And I cannot kind of rely on this as a primary design. And second, they're quite pricey. Using these clicky buttons, which feel much better than the clickless ones. Uh, using these clicky buttons will increase the price by around 100 USD and I doubt a lot of people will be willing to pay extra 100 USD just for these different type of buttons. So let me know in the comments if I'm wrong but for now I'm putting this idea aside at least for a while and I'm sticking with my current design with the tactile, these old-fashioned tactile buttons which I thought um, I I had some concerns on their reliability, but they proved to be pretty reliable. This is my main test unit. I use it for three years already and use it heavily. So no issues with these buttons. They work just fine. Didn't have to replace anything. Another side note is that I have eight Blur DM units in the making. Just to show you how the motherboard looks like for the Blur DM. CV gates, MIDI, DIN5, uh, this is the brain, STM32 chip, on the back this is a memory chip, one megabyte of memory, and I, I put it on the back to shorten the tracks as much as possible to avoid potential high frequency issues. And this is, by the way, uh, the GTAC port, so even if you break the device during the update, which is unlikely, but not impossible, but still you can program it with the ST-Link uh, programming tool. It's not expensive, it's around uh, 20, 30 bucks, so you can use it to program the device. If the internal bootloader gets corrupted for some reason, but that's unlikely again. The normal way is updating the firmware via the SD card. So yeah. And regarding this black uh, version of Blue Orb DM, this particular unit is reserved for the customer. It will be shipped soon. 
but I have four more enclosures and uh, four more motherboards so I can assemble four more units and if you want blow up DM in black it's good time to pre-order one it will be 750 USD plus shipping which is around 80 to the United States and to most countries actually it's it's always below 100 as I remember so yeah black version of the blurb dm thanks for watching have fun with blurb and see you next time